Hello everyone, I'll show you the splenic case with hypoordination pepper. So here's the first case of 55 years of female, carried fever, nausea, left upper quadrant pain, radiating to the back. Here is the slide of the CT. With the renal, pro in the renal protocol. So the first image of the slide, which it is the non contrast image. So there's no appreciate. So it means not more, except screen is enlarged. But in the renal parenchymal case, we see. Red shape subcapsular hypoattenuation in the spleen. On this slide, we can see two of them. So, in the left image in axial plan, we see another hypoattenuation in the enlarged spleen. It's similar to red shape. And the two, the last two corner view, we also see the hypoattenuation lesion in this spleen. But three weeks later in the polar scan, we don't see any hypoattenuation. Anymore. So here's the case of both analysis with splenic impact. A uh, story like this a healthy woman arrived at the ER with fever, nausea, and left upper quadrant pain radiated to the back. On examination, left upper quadrant and left coastal vertebral tenderness were elicited. In the site. Chest radiograph and during analysis were no more. Lab results were remarkable only for lactate dehydrogenase up to 784 IU a litre. As the initial suspicious was of the lab, you Urolithiasis or renal abscess CT urography was done, which revealed an enlarged spleen with subcapsule wedge shape in fact and small hypodent lesion, probably granulomas, as well as lung cardinopathy in several, several optimal stations. Then, for may very well have been the cause of the left upper quadrant pain and the reaction, the reason for the race of the A. CT chest not include was normal except for tiny pleural fusion seen on the CT abdomen. For culture come back, negative as the assay for auto antibody and both trans thorax six and trans esophageal echography were not more serology for cotonella hamsella was positive for IgE uh, IgG and IgM antibody the patient did not have to cat at home that leak her she received doxycline per oils and recovery properly at three weeks old MC was well with normal of test the spleen appear normal at CT. Spleen and fog never been reported in botanilosis without uh, company 
endocarditis. Case two. This is the case of 25 years old female admitted to hospital because of high brown rigor when found to be in septic shock four weeks after an uneventful plant cesarean section. On examination, there was no apparent source of infection. The surgical wound was clean. No sign of peritonitis, but some vacuum left upper quadrant tenderness and other sound was acquired. Here is her other sound that image so only focus on the spin on the left upper image. So the large hypoechogenic lesion in the spleen in the long axis and the middle one in transfer also the same lesion with hypoechogenic apparent and the left upper also the same lesion. So in hypoechogenic apparent without internal color plot. Her image appreciated with complex cystic line lesion in the spleen in both coronal and axial view. This image showed the splenic lesion was drained and put the drain out. So this is the case of post-bottom splenic abscess. The specimen grow gram-negative growth, gram-positive cocci, enterococcus, pericalis, streptococcus, millary, and mic anaerobic. A colonoscopy was also performed, which was normal. A trend to Six echogram. Echocardiogram was also obtained due to the link between splenic abscess and infective endocarditis report as normal. The, the patient was treated with IV antibiotic and had the train removed three days better when training had stopped. The patient was treated with no further complication. No cause for the abscess was found. There may be have been some trauma to the spring during delivery, which were decolonized by bacteria, but this cannot be proven. Here, the, another case of 30 years old male, fever and deranged liver function test, post-gastroenteritis and obesity trauma. The first image show the well defined around hypoechoic splenic lesions with in the color flow, so some peripheral and internal flow. But sometimes maybe artifact also can solve this. And in the CT, so, well defined liver, there is no any lesion, but in the spleen, there are several well defined hypoattenuation lesions. So, this is a case of splenic epidermosis. Epidermosis are a relatively common cause of benign non infective cystic lesion of the spleen. They are congenital, rarely become symptomatic or complicated, and useful present incidentally. In this case, the presentation of fever and a recent OOC drama made splenic abscess more concerning, but 
correlation with previous image before the travel, so the reason will change. Thank you.